Hello and welcome to another edition of Myrtle's Rant. We are just standing outside a restaurant waiting to go for lunch. I am of course on the ICEA's Catalonia Cannabis Social Clubs tour and we've had an amazing, amazing uh, few days so far. This is day four. Um, we have visited six social clubs so far and there's still two more to go. We've also uh, visited the local associations of cannabis clubs and this morning we were also at the Department of Health who uh, put forward recommendations for, for cannabis uh, social clubs but only in Catalonia because it's quite similar to what's happening in America is in Catalonia uh, they have passed laws but those laws have largely been vetoed by the central Spanish government. Uh, there's been lots and lots of interesting discussions. Um, uh, we find in common cause with the Americans in terms of social equity issues. Uh, there's not so many social equity issues. I'm not saying there's not the issues, but there's not so much discussion about it here in Europe. For example, what is going to happen to the Moroccan farmers uh, once cannabis is fully legal in Spain, um, which is the same kind of dilemma that we have uh, with our rural farmers in South Africa. So I was just coming to check in and uh, tell everybody that I'm having an amazing time and thank you to ICS for making this trip possible. And um, I will, I've certainly been taking lots of notes and lots of photographs uh, and will let everybody know the various intricacies of what is going on. But I must say that this morning at the Department of Health, they asked that, um, that we uh, each introduce ourselves and where we were from and what area we worked in. And I must say it sent shivers down my spine to hear everybody introduce themselves from the 11 different countries represented, represented here. Um, and we are 30 participants all together. And um, there is a lot, a lot, a lot of common cause. Uh, there's a lot that uh, we are all struggling with. Uh, nowhere here has anybody sorted out all the problems. Um, but I feel particular kinship with countries like Malta, uh, where it is not legal yet, let me tell you, the, the directors of the uh, Maltese policy change are here in the group and that's one of the first things that they said to me. Cannabis is not legal in Malta. People think that it's legal. We've still got a long way to go. For example, there's no consumption clubs allowed there. Um, it's very complicated. There's also quite a few people from the Southern Hemisphere, and I certainly feel a kinship with the, with the people from Colombia, uh, Mexico, and Barbados, uh, where we really do face the issues. I was having a conversation with Zara Snap from Mexico this morning, and she said, you know, this is so much to put on cannabis that we are going to affect social equity somehow, or we are going to save the world. And as we've always said, Cannabis is not going to save the world, but it is certainly going to help. So from the beautiful, beautiful Catalonia city of Barcelona, I'm signing off now. I hope you enjoy the Hotbox show tonight uh, and lots and lots of love from Spain.